Hi, I'm Kelly McGonigal. I'm a health psychologist and lecturer at Stanford University and the author of The Willpower Instinct, How Self-Control Works, Why It Matters, and What You Can Do to Get More of It. And I'm really looking forward to speaking with you in March about willpower. You know, when I talk with people about willpower, one of the first things that almost everyone says is, oh, I don't have any of that. And I find that this is especially true when we're talking about health and fitness, that people act as though willpower is a trait that you either have or you don't have. Uh, and of course, most people feel like they don't have it. They somehow missed the gene that would give them the willpower they need to prioritize their own health to exercise regularly. And that's not at all what the science of willpower says. You know, we know that willpower is not a personality trait or a moral virtue that some people have and some people lack. It's better thought of as a strength that you can train, that you can train through things like making your health a priority and choosing to exercise. But it's also a state and a set of skills that we can share with others. And I really look forward to speaking with you about this new science of how to create a culture of willpower, how to make willpower contagious so that we can inspire other people to make difficult changes in their lives. And that's really my definition of willpower. It's the ability and the willingness to make choices that are consistent with your biggest goals and your ultimate well-being, even when it's difficult or uncomfortable or boring, or you're tired, or some part of you doesn't want to, but to really put those big goals to put your well-being first. Now, I also know that because you're a human being, you probably have your own willpower challenges as well. And it might not have anything to do with health and fitness. It might have to do with how you want to be in the workplace, the kind of leader you want to be. It might have to do with the kind of parent you want to be, or any goal in your life. And so I hope that by talking about the science of change, and really thinking about how it is that we can help people be the best version of themselves, I hope that you'll hear something that also makes you reflect on perhaps a change that you would like to create in your own life and give you some practical strategies for taking steps forward on those goals as well. And lastly, I wanted to say how excited I am to be speaking with you because it's a little known fact, but in addition to being a scientist and an author, I've been teaching group fitness for 15 years uh, everything from kickboxing and boot camp to Zumba and yoga. And this industry is very close to my heart. Um, I'm so excited to be sharing some of the science and the practical strategies with a community that is really creating a place for people to pursue their health and to do it with other people, to have that supportive community, to have that third place where um, people can really choose to see themselves as someone who puts health first and to have supportive communities that makes that possible. So I could think of a better community to be speaking to and sharing with. So I look forward to seeing you soon, to giving you some fascinating insights from the science side that you can really apply in your own work and hopefully in your own lives and towards your own goals as well.